All right. So here we are yet again. You're watching another one of my goofy videos and you're thinking to yourself, why am I doing this? And apparently while I'm in the middle of doing this, somehow my printer has decided to start printing something. Don't know why. It's kind of weird. Anyway, so yeah, I know I'm going to beard. What can I say? And I'm wearing a hat today because, well, I don't feel like combing my hair. It's the easiest way to hide it. See, it's a tool that most guys have. You know, this video is really sort of something that women should watch, I think, because what it does is it explain to you why we need tools. You know, because women say, you know, you don't even need that, you know, like. But for women, I guess it's the same thing as like shoes. You've got to have a special shoe for a special occasion. We got to have special tools for a special occasion. And I decided to do these videos because basically my brother, brother-in-law Perry, used to come over to my place and rattle me about all the tools and stuff I had and the junk. And, and he actually helped me clean out my old place one time. And he was throwing stuff out and I was freaking out because there was stuff he was throwing out was actually good stuff. But to him, it was just junk. He just wanted to get rid of it. So, and you know, right now with this uh, pandemic we're in the middle of, uh, I thought it would be good to do these, these couple little video shoots on stuff. If you have tools for this special need, then why not have it, right? So, and I think a lot of us right now are, uh, what would be the word for it? We're very bored out of our minds. I know the last video I said it was 20 days since I was in the house, but I, I think actually I'm just coming up on the 20 day now. Um, and I don't know about you guys, but anybody else been having problems with, uh, like, you think it's, Monday and it's actually Saturday or Sunday and it's actually Tuesday. I don't know. The biggest excitement I'm, I've got these days is checking my lottery ticket. <laughs> um, but anyway, I, I thought, I, you know, even if I could make this thing and it makes people laugh, what the heck? You know, at least it passes the day by. You know, I just want to say for a couple of people out there that uh, if you're staying inside and isolating, awesome, good for you. For those dumbasses that are quite frankly going out there and just ignoring it and going out and doing shopping, partying, well, the day will come where you will be just, uh, will be judged and if not infected with this stupid thing. So I'm doing my best to stay at home and stay out of the, uh, out of the community. Um, I know that I have work that I want to do around my house, uh, you know, that as soon as the weather changes, I'll get out there and I'll clean the grass and stuff like that. But I mean, I'm staying in my own property and I'm staying away from people and I'm going to stay as isolated as, as possible because I quite frankly don't want to send this or pass this on to get it myself or pass it on to friends and, and family. Um, I just wouldn't want to even know what that would be like to, to bear that responsibility. So anyway, I know that Perry would say he has tools. Now, he he has specific tools. Like, if you were to ask him about Trump and how Trump has been handling this thing, Perry would suggest high-powered rifle. That's his tool of choice. And I totally understand that. I totally get it. But, see, we got to be doing things illegally here, right? So, can't exactly have that sort of stuff going on. Anyway... I watched the famous comedian today, actually, I can't think of his name right now, but he's uh, up from out east, and he was joking about Trump and suggesting people should scare Trump. I think that lady that coughed in the conference there the one day and he ran out of the room was enough to make me laugh. Anyway, so tool of the day, because that's really what we're here for. Okay, so tool of the day. I just want to point out, you know, Perry, take play close attention to this. Not very many people would have this, but this is a, oh, and it's missing one section here, so let me just snap it on quickly. This is what we call a P100 mask. This is basically a better quality filter than even the doctors are wearing, but we use it for sanding drywall and stuff. So you could actually wear this outside. I, I think it's a little intimidating going, blah. <laughs> Apparently, it's been in storage a little, and there's a little dust inside of it. I think I better take this and wash it. Uh, <clears throat> so I guess it'd be a little intimidating wearing that around. But, but can you imagine going to the little old lady's house next door and going to check up on her, make sure she's okay, because she doesn't answer the phone or whatever, 
and you knock on the door and you stand back 10 feet and you wait for the answer door and they come to the door and they're wearing this hi come on in don't worry we're totally fine yeah and the neat part this is a charcoal filter it does gas it does all sorts of fumes and stuff and i mean literally it's like breathing clean air when whatever goes through and of course i used to use this in the spray painting um you know I, I actually as time went on i upgraded from you know the cheaper models and kept getting better and better and, and this is actually a good quality mask um, it actually has a shield on the front that you can peel off and it protects the glass so that i can see out the front all the time but the interesting thing is is you can take the p100 filter and you can just do this if you actually know how to do it there we go and you put it on you put two of them on and you got an equivalent of a p100 mask which is what the doctors would basically be using and face shield one more thing i've got is even better is i because i'm getting older and i decided i don't want to put my lungs at risk when i'm repairing cars and stuff i have the exact same version of this except on the front it has a connection for an air feed unit that actually feeds me fresh air while I'm painting. And when I'm in a zoot suit, I look like the great blimp. And, you know, my suit is all billowed out and everything. But it's pumping fresh air into me so that I don't get paint fumes, basically. Not that these would ever allow you to get any in, but it's a sort of a positive pressure system so that all around the edges where this is supposed to fit you perfectly, um, it actually blows air out so it gets rid of it. Speaking of getting rid of it, I'm going to put my hat back on because, you know, should have combed my hair this morning. Anyway, so to Perry, where he used to say, why do you have all this stuff? Uh, you know, it just in case you happen to have a pandemic, you got to prepare for it. And well, here you go. Just happen to have the tools, the master blaster, and now two different types of masks. Both are good for viruses and stuff. So I just thought I'd show you guys this. So in the almighty words of a very famous person that I used to watch all the time, Mr. Red Green, uh, I just want to say, keep your stick on the ice. And uh, if the woman can't find you handy, they should at least find you handsome. So have a great day. Keep safe. I wish you all the very best and may you all have good health.